It'll get this down. What's going on guys? This is Ben from Team Uno Moss. Sit down today to show you guys how to make a light wire king mackerel rig. This is going to be a just a plain naked rig. So a couple things we'll need today. Start out with some 40 pound American fishing wire. Um, 40 pounds nice and light but still going to get the job done. We're going to use Spro power swivels. Um, these are a size 8. The smaller is the better. These, better. these are still a 50 pound swivel. Um, we're going to need size 4 and size 6 treble hooks. Make sure on the treble hooks that you get a 4x treble hook. Anything lighter than that and you can have a chance of it bending out while you're fighting a fish. So, and uh, this is a good pair of wire cutters. Measuring out the wire here. The way I do it, you're looking for about 3 feet. For me, that's my arm length to the center of my chest. That real quick. Then we're going to start out with our <clears throat> number six treble hook is going to go in the back of the rig. That is going to be like your stinger hook. So we're going to take the hook. One side of the hook is going to have a flat piece to it. I'm sure you can see that there. The other side has the third leg to the treble on it. I'm going to come through the back of the eye through to the flat side and then just pinch that down between your fingers then we're going to wrap back down the shank of the hook give it a good five six wraps make sure you're keeping them real tight keep them tight back against each other make sure they don't overlap Then we're going to take it and go back the opposite way through the eye of the hook Just pull that wire tight, finish it off, just take that wire, kind of lift it back towards the front of the hook, just kind of locks it in, makes it hang nice and straight. Then we're going to take a number four treble hook, slide that down the wire, then we're looking to uh, a good, good length judgment, it's just some somewhere on your mid hand out to the tip of your finger there. It depends on exactly what size bait you're pulling. Same idea as we did in the back. We're just going to wrap it back down the shank of the hook. Remember to keep them good and tight right up against each other. Five, six, seven wraps, whatever makes you feel comfortable should be just fine. Back through the front of the hook there. Good pull it tight so that your whole rig hangs nice and straight there and then we're going to come all the way to the top of the rig here take one of the uh, number eight power pro swivels slide it through one of the eyelets here and we're going to tie what is called a figure eight knot I have the wire swivels in the middle of my hand right here just double the wire back onto itself Go around the back of the wire and then back through the hole you created. We'll make what looks like a little figure eight there. And we're going to come back in with our clippers, lay it up next to the swivel, right about where the bottom eye starts. And that finishes up your naked king mackerel rig. Again, Slide your hooks up and down to adjust for different baits. If you're fishing uh, real clear water situations or shy, wire shy king mackerel, shorten up the length of your leader. Um, the whole idea behind this length is just that it gives it a chance to stay off the back of the king and helps to prevent a tail whip. Clearly most kings are longer than this, um, but it will help to prevent the tail whips. That's going to be it for your naked king mackerel rig.